Welcome back to our regularly scheduled program. Why is my dashboard not working? Here we go. Export to you. Start export. All right. First and foremost, I'll put my phone on the charger. Or it is dying. Right. Done. Secondly, okay, that answer is a no. Thirdly, what media? Fourthly, fourthly, that doesn't sound like a word. Check out this Louisville team. Boy. Fast fucking runner backs. Of course. 99 speed wide receiver. Why not? Yeah, this tight end got 83 speed. As. What the fuck? Not recruit fucking defensive tackles? What the hell? Okay, so the minimum of their line's vulnerable. Good for us. We do like running a lot of dive plays. Okay. God. Don't have fast quarters though. Good to know. Okay, the slot receiver ninety two speed. Lock quarter has 84 speed. Have to fucking take advantage of that. Alright, they got holes. Heads of tackles, horrible. Harris, you okay? Got Harris. How bagged up is he? Not too bagged up. Just 
The Jodes, however, is egged up. I have to monitor to that during the game. The night game, I do remember that. I like those gray pants. I like gray and red together. Gray and black, I mean, red and black looks sick though, too. Blackbird wins. All right, Louisville, let's go. Bring it. Welcome everyone to Louisville, Kentucky, and we may be in the bluegrass state, but blue is the color to avoid if you love the homestanding Louisville Cardinals. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and we've got a team that makes it into the top 25. They got some nice uniforms. That's when you prove you belong. As we'll see, the number 11 team in the country, the Boston College Eagles, taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Louisville Cardinals. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Boston College lined up, ready to kick off and get things going. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So the Louisville Cardinals offense takes the field for the first time today. And this big fella can beat you in a... No They got a nice stadium. Bad. He's in the passing game, David. He has so much fun to have a guy that I can rely on that can beat guys over the okay. middle of the field, that can beat man to man coverage. This guy's the ultimate weapon. And I love that this guy has an awesome catch radius. You don't have to be perfect as a quarterback when you throw to him. He can make you look good. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. Yeah, it's a really good job with the misdirection, right? Bringing somebody's one direction with so much speed, the defense reacts. 
Now you bring another guy the other direction. Hard to see one and then react. Uh uh, we ate fool, bitch. Kind of speed on the field, and that's why you had a big play. You know when you're playing against a defense of this caliber, you're going to have to have some sort of balance, right? You can't just drop back and throw it every single play. Nothing going on that last run. They're going to have to find another way to get it going, handing the ball. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Looking for room. It's Lewis. And he's brought down after a nice game. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just... I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. They're going to ride this running back. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. From the gun, the running back has it. And he okay, so they like to run. Down, but man, did he get the hit stick laid on his noggin. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. He makes a catch. And he's brought down after a nice game. And this offense is just so dynamic because they've got playmakers at all the skill positions, right? We just saw a big play in the running game. Now we see one in the passing game. There's not one dude that you can key on here if you're on defense to try and slow them down. Coming after him. Huge sack. And will get to him at the 25. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. That last play, the kind of thing that can mess up a really good drive. It's second and 17. He's looking to throw. And this Shit. Goes back to back sack, Jack. Oh, no, no, no. All right, with the Jack. In a bad situation on this one. Second and third and long. There's not a lot of guesswork. Defense knows they're throwing the football, and you could tell on that pass rush, man. Baby. They were coming. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. He's looking downfield to throw. Out the He's screen. The back as a receiver on the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen. But it just never developed. You got to love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics okay. out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the What the fuck was that? Game. You set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and sell it. The Eagles offense will take the field for the first time. I know what a weapon he is on the outside, but stretching the field against this dude. Monitoring our running back's health. Challenge. And just some safeties have it, the awareness, the ability to see the ball, to break on the football, and he's one of those guys. This QB better be looking his safety off. You can't just trust your receiver's going to out-athlete him every time you throw him the ball, because this safety is a different breed. I'm a different breed. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride, and they want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. Those two make the connection. I'm killer and I'm a different breed. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile 
of environment like this one not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe, and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early, be in a business mode mindset. You gotta start fast, you gotta have a sense of urgency. You cannot come sleepwalking into an environment like this because if you do and you make some mistakes, this crowd will pounce on you and seize momentum. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Still on his feet at the 45. They make the stop, but this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. And the Golden Eagles come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Robinson will throw. Swings it out to the flat. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Man, this guy's going to need some water when he gets to the sidelines. They've been putting him to work on this drive, right? You've seen him tote the rock with success. Now you're seeing him get involved in the passing game, too. They are highlighting his versatility here on this drive. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Handoff to the lone back. I don't know why I tried to jump there. And gets down to the 33 yard line. Listen, defense is about energy, it's about passion, it's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy in the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. What could have been set up in a long yard situation now becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. Give to the fullback. Good That'll shit. Be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31 yard line. This offense knew coming into this one, guys, how important it was to start early and on this opening drive for them. They're doing a nice job running the football there on third down. They're in a position on the field now. If you're on defense, you got to be ready for a shot throw into the end zone. Makes the tackle right at the 21-yard line. Pickup of 10 on the play, and this offense is threatening with a first down. And another nice game by the offense. All right, defense. We gotta change something up here. They're, they're putting a big drive together, play after play, having a lot of success. How do we break the rhythm? How do we give them something that can create a tackle for a loss or a sack or something to get momentum back on my side? That's how you blow up the screen pass if you're on defense. You gotta hit the quarterback fast to force the incompletion. After the misfire now on second down. They'll go to the ground. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. I think throughout the week in practice, when they were game planning their opening script, I don't even know if they envisioned it going as well as it has. This has been beautiful. Nice balance, really nice rhythm. It feels like everything they're dialing up here on their first drive of the game is working to perfection. A first down run in the red zone. Not much room. He gets one down to the seven. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last one. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Robinson looking to pass. Makes the grab. Get in. No. time offensively you're just trying to take what the defense is giving you right they're playing zone coverage you got your big fella just working right over the ball it's an easy pitch and catch just take the profit and let's keep going will they be able to get that one more yard and stick it in here on third down they'll power it inside with let's the go the let's go wow florida 184 to nothing Nice job on third and goal. You know what's coming. I know what's coming. The physicality, the offensive line doing a great job. And the fullback gets the handoff right up the gut. 
takes it downhill, uses his power, and falls into the end zone for the touchdown. Lining up to add another. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. He'll bring it out. It's hit. Not sure why you would take that out. That was silly. find the rhythm on that last drive Jesse they had to punt it I think they got to be more physical David I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game and how easy does football become if you're the more physical team if you can threaten the run and then then run play action it opens up the whole offense at your disposal after getting knocked back to open this drive it's second and 12 give to Brown He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I'll be honest. That is a formation and a play call I was never expecting to see in this game. This offense is one of the top ten passing units in the entire country. I'm surprised they even have goal line in their playbook. What are we doing? Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense. And now it's fourth down. The Cardinals will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He just wanted to get it out of there from his end zone. He's got it near midfield. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. BC has it back, and the Eagle offense returns to the field. You want to talk about a drive where you impose your will? That's what they did running it down for a touchdown, David. Oh. There is nothing more demoralizing than that for a defense. To be physically pounded, the run is coming. You know it's coming, and you can't stop it. Nothing the defense can do. That is mano a mano up front, and your guys getting a push. They know you're running it, and they still can't stop it. Now on second down. Give to the big fullback. What a good run there. Nice run. He has enough for the first down. I love it. What a play call. Going to the fullback in the running game, and he shows you that he's got some ability. Earned yourself another carry. Running back, and he shows you the wiggle. He's got some ability to break tackles, and he helps his offense. Next quarter. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. They've swapped ends of the field, and we'll get it going in the second. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Let's go. Give to the fullback. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Jones pulled down after a pickup of five. They'll mark it at the eight. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. On the 
Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. The give to the fullback. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with the first down. I'll tell you guys, this fullback, he's not just a blocker. He can catch the football, and he can also run it, especially on third down. What a weapon. Hand off to the fullback. He's okay, they kind of seen it coming now. That changes the sequence, doesn't it? Like, you think first and goal, maybe I can pound this several times, and now you get the loss, now you got to rethink things a little bit. Do I want to throw the football? And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Boston College! Defenses at some point are going to have to figure out how to slow this guy down because he already has three receiving touchdowns. We're only four games into the season. Nobody has an answer for this guy. Nice catch. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. Illinois came away with the win today, but not in dominant fashion. In fact, the folks in Champaign had to sweat things out for much of the second half. Could have been better, but it certainly could have been worse. The circle of life in college football, where one team moves on feeling like kings, and the other heads home licking its wounds. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on it. Kemp down goes Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Sounds like they had a good one there. He'll pull it on the read. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand this. That QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. And now on second down for this offense. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And the first guy couldn't get him, but the second one does, but not until he picked up the first down. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level, and he's got some speed. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Right back to the well. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. So you get stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now on this second play. But what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to leave more guys in to block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching staffs. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. At the 45. God damn it. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing, offensive line allowed everybody to run upfield, and they slip in the running back screen, and behind it, there was nobody there to make a tackle, and this offense generates a massive play. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the Cardinals come to the line in the hurry up. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Oh, gotcha. By the defense. They got him down pretty quickly after the pick, but now they've got it at the 15-yard line. Man, that is how you get it done as a defense when you're playing cover one. Like, you got the middle of the field safety, but everybody else is manning up. Nice job running with this guy, seeing the football, breaking on it, making the interception, making the big play for this defense.
Why not? Boston College sending the offense back onto the field. They wanted to set the tone, strike quickly. Jesse, they've done exactly that, up two touchdowns. And this quarterback has been dialed in, too. He's been so good reading coverage, going to where the open guy is with the football. And they've been up and down the field, David, so far. And this defense needs to make something happen right now. Uh, you've already given up a couple touchdowns. Your offense has got nothing going. Still early in the game. I have a tough time tackling this too. For your offense. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Movement here from the tight end. Sticks it in his belly. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. We'll see if they go back to the run here on third down. Robinson will throw. It's complete. What? The right side. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down. It'll bring up a big decision. Well, they were Bro, I need to stop possession one catching one like that. Oh, I want to go for it so bad. That's crazy. Receiver got absolutely nowhere after the catch. Offense calls a timeout here. Critically important to make sure they have the right play call and everyone on the same page here. And how about this lower intestinal fortitude? Fourth and one in your own territory, and they're going. Run it with the fullback. Tackle lower intestinal fortitude. Gets the first down. Do you think that was a straight go, or they just sort of went with gut feel as to whether the defense was going to relax on that fourth and one? I don't know, but I know this. As a coach, I'm not giving a lot of freedom for gut will on the own side of the field if we're going to go for it on fourth down. I think they probably understood. Listen, we haven't been able to get a screen like pass off all day. They went for it, and by the way, they got it. That play sucks. The lane, a pick up of one to the 31. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300 plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Robinson looking to pass. Quarterback strolling away from heat. He's gonna run it. Fuck that and dude's he's fast. Not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. 
there was just nowhere to go with the football for the quarterback throwing it. So he tried to create, he tried to extend the play with his legs, just not able to get away from the defense. And now we have fourth down. Boston College lining up to punt this one away. He'll wave for the fair catch and haul it in at the 25. Louisville has it back in the offense coming out ready to attack. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with the system. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. You gotta give the defense a lot of credit, man, because they've come into this hostile environment, and they've quieted the crowd down with some of the plays they're making. They've got a nice lead right here, and they're making it hard for this quarterback to go to work. Catch in the middle. It's Stone. Tackled, but he has a first down. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. Trying to find his man on first down. Got you. Oh. Wait a minute. Is he lucky to get that one back defense that close to an interception? Are we sure that he knows what color jersey his receivers are wearing? Threw a pick on the last drive and almost threw another one. Just, just temporarily confused. No big deal. Hey, short memory. Quarterback's got to have those short memories, right? It's behind me. No hard and done. Reset. Next play. He got loose, almost housed it, finally dragged down at the 32. Looking to throw it again. Starting to feel a little pressure. That's a 20, he's got space. A really nice run and gain, and he gets down to avoid taking punishment. Nice job by the QB, sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home. Take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. They're looking to pass from the red zone. Caught in the backfield. It's Kendricks. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. And good coverage and better hands on that shot to the end zone. Well, that last incompletion is a good example of why your timing has to be so good as a quarterback because the windows, they open and they close so quickly in this part of the field. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. He'll throw on third down. Snags it. And he'll go out of bounds just short of the goal line, and they've got it right on the doorstep. How valuable is a tight end in the red area? Now they're set up with a first and goal. I love it. Find the big fella down in the red area. Big target, works the middle of the field. Easier oh, three. you idiot. You absolute buffoon. Locked in on his rules and made the interception. And this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. I think they could have just ran it in. No. Maybe. Anything but that. B 
BC has the ball back, hoping for a party in the mods. They've got some time to work with here, Jesse, and if they get a first down, they might... Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. And that will be incomplete, man. That would have been a big hitter if they could have done it with second down coming. Well, the defender got his hand on that one, tipped it up in the air, and offense, man, they're lucky that one wasn't hit. They'll go back to the air on second down. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. Yeah, and you can tell the timing wasn't great and the quarterback and receiver not on the same page, but when you're going to miss, don't miss towards the DP. You definitely want to miss out towards the sideline so you don't get yourself in trouble. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. What? And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Boston College will send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll bring it back. It's McLean. W roll. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Going up top on first down. Pass is incomplete. The clock is down to nine. This offense just has to find a way to find a rhythm here. They're playing at home, and they want this crowd to stay involved and be an asset in the game, but they need to start making plays. They can't keep throwing incompletions this early. The pass is incomplete, and the clock will stop. That was almost a disaster. Things just not going as easy for this guy as they did his last game out. Last time he completed over 70% of his throws. This week, though, defense taking some throws away. They've made some plays. He just hasn't been quite spot on with his accuracy. He's going to have to play better. Stands in and takes the hit. And he throws another interception. Don't tell me that was fucking pass interference. They get him on the ground after the turnover. On me? If that will be a reprieve for this offense. Oh man, thought he had the interception, but the official rules gained too much of an advantage. So wave off the turnover and give up the yardage. It'll be first down. Wants to throw on first down. Pass is incomplete and half comes to a close on that play. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Louisville? 15 passing yards. Holy shit. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. The Cardinals will kick it away to start the second half. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. BC has it back, and the Eagle offense returns to the field. They open this third quarter on top, and they built the lead on the... Sent it downfield. Let's go. And he's brought down after a huge completion. And a big reason why this team has the lead in this game is because of plays like that. They know they've got firepower throwing the ball. They've got the dudes outside that can make things happen. You saw it in the first half, and you see it here again early in the third quarter. Why does he not block him? Defense wouldn't let him lose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Gotta give the defense credit. So fucking Watching annoying. Film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver in different ways they were gonna try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page playing together. I love it. 
Looking for a crease to the left. Open space at the 25. He will step. Hurting. Good. Not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still, you cannot stop it? There's nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because it just, it ticks you off. It gets in. Got some room, headed to the goal line, and he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Eagles! These guys are really hitting their stride in week four as they push out that lead. W hitting our stride. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. Missouri dug down deep and found a way to secure a coveted road win. And who knows how the pundits will view this one, but I'll tell you this. It sure beats trying to explain a bad loss. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome, and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standings, fellas. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. And the D wow, he got a tackle laying on the ground. No pick up at all on that play. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. And the Cardinals will hustle to the line. Trying play action. Unloads to the right. Oh boy. And it's picked off again. His night vision hasn't been on par. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. Have a day, young fella. Two interceptions already? That's that's three, four, five, six games for some people. A hot start catching the football. He's acting like he's playing wide receiver out there. I might think about trying a different DB. Boston College sending the offense back onto the field. Quarterback on the keeper. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're trying to go option. They're trying to put that defensive end in the bind, but he's just way too athletic, and he guessed right. The quarterback was keeping the ball. He knew it and was able to make the tackle in the backfield. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Here they come, facing third and long from the 20. They'll go to the fullback. Uh. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. He'll try to put one down the boulevard from 42 yards out. It is true as he puts three on the board. And they'll push that lead out a little further. That lead just keeps getting fatter, and this kickoff team doing a little running. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. They face a pretty tall mountain here. Come on, Louisville. Wake up. If they're going to climb it, this is a good time to start. 
Sense of urgency's got to be big right here. You just get the feeling at this point of the game, David, they've got to score on this drive. Obviously, their defense needs to get stops, but at this point, offensively, they've got to execute much better. they, they got to be super aggressive. Down 24, you're going to need three touchdowns, three two-point conversions, everything to kind of go your way. So fast and throw in the football. And that's a mistake you don't expect to see from Almost the another interception. Really has been a Jekyll and Hyde story for this quarterback. His last. over 80% of his throws, but things just not going his way in this one. You've got to give the defense a ton of credit. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They can really use a conversion, not to mention... Gotcha. Fourth interception of the game. No way. He got four he interceptions. Bounds, but he was smelling that end zone on that return. Well, I love the job by the coaching staff there defensively, matching the personnel of the offense putting their dime package out on the field. So you bring out the extra defensive back. You're anticipating a pass. Perfect timing to run that person Oh, out. it says what? The Probably the team's fourth. Oh, the quarterback's fourth interception. Oh, my me. Stupid moment. BC has the ball back, hoping for a party in the mods. There have been few obstacles for this offense as they are starting to pull away here in the second half, Jesse. And this has been a dream game for this play caller, too, right? It's like anything that he's calling is working flawlessly. Yeah, it's fun to be the offensive coordinator, but not the defensive coordinator. They have had no answers. It's been an absolutely miserable day trying to solve the riddle of this offense. The play action fake. The freshman able to get home with the sack. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes in offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. Big fullback's got it. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. He'll swing that big leg for three from 44 yards out. It's good. And now the lead is even bigger. Well, it's a good news, bad news scenario. You got the pick, and you would have liked to have paid that off with a touchdown, but because it, the drive stalls out, they're still happy to get the field. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. And he hauls it in, and everybody's on the edge of their seats. And the returner will be brought down. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. Mistakes are going to happen, as they did on that last drive. Now, how will they respond, Jesse? And this is the kind of guy who's going to take full accountability. That was my bad. That's on me. I'm about to lead this offense now down the field to score some points. Dang, Palmer. I wish I would have played with you. I didn't play with many quarterbacks that were just like, yeah, my bad. Hey, guys, I got this. Sorry about that. It was more, you should have ran a better route. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. Easy. Off the play fake. Quickly out to the tight end. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. So surprised. We have not been calling this guy's name more. He's one of the best tight ends in the country, but give the defense credit. They have had an outstanding game plan limiting him so far. That's only his second catch of the game. Just nowhere to go against this defense to find that single yard he needed on third down. The Cardinals will punt it away on fourth down. Here's the return. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. Good field position here as they start this drive from their 43. He'll come out throwing on first down. 
He tries to take the top off. And he's got it They're inside the 20. Touchdown, Boston College. And the route is on. Quarterbacks love receivers that can get separation, but that amount of separation uh, is a little excessive. I agree, Reese, and I think the defense needs to have a little powwow on the sidelines and talk about what just happened because that was an absolute busted coverage on the back end. Defense can't keep playing like that. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. The big fella, the tight end, the wide receiver in a tight end's body going up and making the catch. Got some of the work done on first now. Let's see what they have on second down. They'll run play action. Throws to the wide out. Got his man. How did he catch that? And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You see all this movement in football now, all the stem the defensive line. They're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue Idiot. to hit. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. And this offensive line's got to do a better job. Man, you got to protect your quarterback. Listen, this offense is not playing great. But they got to somehow find a way to start to get something together here in this second half. This is a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Catch inside the 25. Huge plays like that can change the complexion of a game, and he's got it at the 22-yard line. And the Cardinals are on the move. Looking for space. It's Lewis. They get him down, but not before he picks up five down to the 17-yard line. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They think there's room to run to the right here. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man, how fast did they get in there and make that tackle for a loss? If you blinked, you missed it. Nice job by the defense getting penetration. Everybody up near the line of scrimmage, shooting the gaps quick, getting in the backfield, getting the guy on the ground. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Kabah, defend the shutout. Block goal. that kick. And he'll try to knock it through from the right hash and 35 nope. yards out. Right down the boulevard, it's good. I wouldn't say they cut into the deficit. They sort of microscopically uh, edged off the deficit. Still a mountain climb. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. Here's the return from inside his 10. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. They'll give it to the back. They bring him down. He's got a first down, but that might be the final play of the third quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and Boston College has the lead. They built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we got here. I think I have allergies. I can't even breathe out of my nose. <laughs> the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. No 
they'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. The give to the fullback. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Dropping back, it's Bickley. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. And screens are all about timing, right? You want to invite the defensive line to fly up the field, and then you want to throw it right over their head. And you could tell just a little bit. Well, the backups are in. Got in there so quick, got the quarterback hit before he could really get his bearings and throw the screen. He couldn't find anywhere to go, and now it's fourth down. That's a great job executing up front by the defense. They looked like they were ready for that play. And that was a bit of a more unconventional look from the offense on third down. But Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Slips through the line. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. It'd be interesting to see what happens here in the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying Another interception's crazy. Interception of the game, a miracle they haven't pulled him yet. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback, and DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. Okay, They've got the big fellas out there, a three tight end look on first and ten. Fullback's got it. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Oh, he redshirted Waddle. Why is he out there? Quarter, you have the lead. That's exactly what you want to do. Lean on these guys, run the football, eat that clock. This offense set up with a second and short. Give to the big fullback. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. Well, how about that? They turn around and hand it off to the big fella, and he's able to get the first down. Nice play. Pay for this. Just inside the red zone. First and ten from the 19. Give to the fullback. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. Three wideouts to the right on second and eight. To the air, it's Bickley. Quarterback just flat missed it, incomplete. After the second down misfire, looking at a third and eight. It's a draw. Nice move there. He's brought down, but he's got it. Nice first down. And first and goal from the eight. This is a top 25 offense in college football, and I like what they do. They, they Yo, the Sabre, hello. Third downs when they need to. They uh, right yes, there. I'm winning. 34 to 3. To they really know who they are. They have a good Kicking idea. their ass. And that's why they've been so successful this season. On the 
This Boston College offense has it working. Here we go. He'll set up to throw. Swings it out to his running back. That completion will What's up with you? How's everything? Kind of a lot of today's running game, right? Spit the ball out, quick, get it to your playmakers in space, get positive yards. It's uh, instead of running the ball a couple yards up the middle, now you just spit it out wide. And a lot of times, if you break a few tackles, it could be even bigger. Okay, nice. I is. That. I'm good. Same old, same old. Get which side of the field I'm on. Okay, we're on the left. Pushed it ahead to the four. They'll try to cash in on second and goal. He'll run it to the right, looking for the goal. God line. damn it. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. I think it would be great if this offense leaned on the run game more in the red zone. Lean on their back, man. Give it to him. Let him do his thing. He hadn't even gotten the end zone yet this season. Please, so love for the love of God, complete a screen pass. They're going to throw it on third and goal. Wow, we did it. And then I just and ran into the player. Safe pass play. They pick up a few. We reached a two minute warning and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Never a doubt. The kick is good. And they just tack on a little more to this gargantuan lead. Uh, I woke up around like two. Did not go on the game, surprisingly. Uh, I watched Cinderella stream for a little while. And if I watched something else, I might have watched YouTube while I was laying down. Then I ended up falling back asleep for like. Nice job by the hour and a half, Everybody two hours. In their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. The Louisville offense is headed around there, the give field. or take. Not a lot to feel great about in this one, Jesse, but I'm sure they'll try to seek out some positives. Well, this might be an opportunity to Reese to go back when they watch this game and just find the plays and the schemes that were working. Going downfield for the big play. He's got it on the left. Wow, they didn't get it decepted. I'm proud of them. And he'll take it in for the touchdown. It won't have much impact on the outcome of the game, but it is a fabulous parting gift, the consolation prize, if you will. This game is almost certainly decided already, but the good news is for the next game, guys still flying around, still playing hard, not really hanging their heads. Long season. This is early in the season. Still got plenty of time. Still find out which plays you like, which you don't, and, and keep running them. Keep getting better. At it. So use this as practice. All right. Surely we can kill a minute and 45 seconds with that backup offense on the field. Surely we can do that. BC has it back, and the Eagle offense returns to the field. They have dropped a hush on this entire stadium, David, by controlling this game. And there's nothing like shutting up the home crowd. You love it. Nothing like having a big lead in the fourth quarter. I got up for and work an hour after you woke up. Yeah, really impressive just seeing how they're able to take like everything from the practice field this time. week and apply it to game day. They've been locked in yeah, all week that makes with sense. the game plan, running and throwing the football, man. This has been the math checks out. Second down, will they go back to the ground game? We will. We will go back to the ground game. They'll power it inside with the fullback. And yeah. down, but not before he picks up the first down. Alright, that's probably GG's. We could just kill the ball now. The most unselfish positions you can find in football. They block 99% of the time. But when you can give them that rock. 
get a first down. Those guys are really big. You know, they're, they're really powerful. They usually fall forward. No nonsense, no jukes. Just hit you in the mouth. Looks like the offense will just take a knee. So with the late lead, they're ready to just drain. GG's, Louisville. GG's. Well, this one had all the suspense of a bug hurtling his way toward a windshield, and they did splatter them, an absolutely dominating performance. You gotta give the coaching staff a ton of credit. They obviously had their guys ready to play and motivated right from the opening kick. All three phases we saw just spectacular football. No mental mistakes. I definitely did not just pee in a bottle a second ago because I didn't want to pause the game to go into the bathroom. Nothing to worry about. You just know you're better. Go pull this out. Put up a bunch of points and win by a lot of points. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation Gross. of EA Sports College Football. Get this nasty pee bottle out of here. <laughs> Pulling a rock. Hey, sometimes when you gotta go, you gotta go. <coughs> Five interceptions, crazy. Done it yourself. All right, so I'm not the only crazy person. That's crazy that Terrence Beckett got 20 carries today. Seven people caught passes today. All right, who got all the interceptions? Who was it? from Wilkins, one from Pickering, Tucker, and Adams. And Wilkins got a sack and 10 total tackles. By smell a defensive player of the week. Do I, do I, do I? Advance week. Oh, we got our first commit. Good shit. I was not expecting that. I think that's like the early, the earliest I've ever got a commit. That's crazy. Not prepared for this. Where is my notebook? That's crazy. Surely nobody else, right? No. W commit in there a gem? Let's go.
Yeah, I knew they were going to get Defensive Player of the Week. Admitted that was a high school player that going to come to our team next year. Like during the year, I have to. I'll show you right here. I have to recruit players. Ah, oh, Trahan's gone. Back to the drawing board with QBs. Not to go too crazy. All right, let's get them off the board. It. Love and respect you. I have to like fight these other schools here on the meter. Get them on the team. No, no, nobody's getting committed to the mental asylum. Not yet. Right, we got a good little lead there. Up it here. Oh, we only know one thing. We can't hard sell yet. Send the house. Lock in Wisconsin. I got to line up all the check marks. There we go. That is the pitch that I sent to them to tell them to come to my team. them don't know enough about Send them a DM. We'll let them know that we care. Drop in with Tolliver. Right, and we got a nice lead on all them. Which the Instagram up to. They're taking selfies with strip is a
schedule a visit with him next. Shit, we have people that we have to. Yeah, he's one of our QBs. Okay, so we only need to find one more. On a scrambler. He improvises around. Oh, just all fucking scramblers. Oh, there's an improviser. I can't fucking recruit the... Getting his field general. Or... Take that back. Sorry. Offer this dude a scholarship. Alright, and thus ends another round of recruiting. Heading into our game versus Notre Dame, who beat us the last time we fucking played. And we will remember that. Not forget. Revenge, yes. Get them at our house now, too. Alright, just updating this notebook real quick. All right, we have room 
Not room. We have time for one more game. So, let me end this stream and I will start up another one. <coughs> I will be right back. <laughs>